It's Dave Johal once again for the Boxing Voice. Pleased to be joined once again by Jordan the Wanderer Reynolds. How are you, Jordan? I'm all good, my man. How have you well? Yeah, good, good. We're almost at the end of the uh, light at the end of the tunnel now with uh, with COVID and everything like that. And hopefully shows will be popping off again. You've had your pro debut. H- how was that, first of all? Because at the time, it was a case of, is it going to be in Dubai or Bolton? It was Bolton in the end. You got a fantastic win. How was the night for you? Yeah, listen, it was, it was more of a relief, mate, really, because it was so much going I went through so much stuff from behind the scenes and the build up and but like with the pandemic, and I was pushing things back. And I just thought, I swear to get this one out of the way, then I could push on forward, you know what I mean, and see where I was at. So, yeah, it was just a bit more of a relief, really. Like, I finished the fight. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it and that, but like, I was like, right, now I need to knock all back down and, and start chipping away, do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't really. Yeah, like we've got big things. There's going to be big things to come. Do you know what I mean? So um, I'm just I'm obsessed at the moment. Do you know what I mean? I really uh, there's so much to learn and mm. so much to you know to come with me. Do, do you think there's more like pressure when there's when there's no crowd there, when it's a pandemic sort of crowd, when all you've got is journos that are allowed to go, the 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 ref, the corner. Would you, clearly you would have preferred the crowd because you bring a big crowd with you anyway, but. Is there still that added pressure on your debut? Nah, not really. Like I'm kind of, I'm kind of used to it, mate. To be honest, like I think the crowd, you kind of feed off, you feed off the people. Do you know what I mean? You, you do the energy and whatnot. As long as you just don't become silly and start, you know, someone says, "Go on, have a war," and then you start having a war, and everyone's loving it. So them days are well out of the window. Do you know what I mean? That's what the amateurs are for. So like the amateur ped- pedigree for. So um, yeah, like. And now I think it's just I want to. You're just going to enjoy it more. You're just going to embrace it all. Do you know what I mean? Coming out to your people, all the people who invest time watching your money, watching you and sponsoring you, and you know you want to put on a show for them. So listen, don't get me wrong. There's always going to be nerves there, and whoever, whoever says they're not nervous, that most of them that they're lying, mate, because you need the nerves to keep you sharp. But yeah, mate, it's going to be um, it's going to be exciting times, mate. I can't wait. But have you moved back uh, moved back to the UK now? Because originally you were training out of Ireland, weren't you? So you're yeah. back on home soil now, yeah? Yeah, it made sense for me, mate. Like, I, I was I was supposed to come back at the end of the year, before, like, November-ish. But I thought I'd done a lot of time with Pete and the team. And I didn't want to push my back, my, my debut back even further, you know, as I was getting, you know, used to a new trainer and whatnot. So I thought I'd just suck it up and then uh, get the debut out of the way and then, then come back to London. But, yeah, like it, it made sense to me. I won't settle there, mate. I was living somewhere different in, a, mm. in a, every couple of weeks and just lo- loads of stuff, really. I just thought, like, don't get me wrong, there's lo- lovely people out there, great team, but I just, I was, it was lonely, mate. Like, I'm not lonely. Like, the sac- I, won't, I won't get the sac- I won't get in, like the rewards for what I was sacrificing, then, if that made sense. Do you know what I mean? And like, um, and on your days off and that, like, mm. you, you want to see, you want to see your family, you want to see, I've got a little nephew, you want to see him and, do you know what I mean? You see your mother and you, see, you know you see your missus and your friends and whatnot. So you, you need that to switch off, mate. Otherwise, you just burn yourself out. But now that I'm in London, mate, um, oh, mate, I just it makes, I'm so happy, mate. Like I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm just happy. Everything's here. I've got a full time nutritionist, full time strength coach. Yeah. You know, what I mean, everything, everything. Like I've done two strength sessions in my last fight, and lo- lo- loads of stuff. Just loads of stuff. I just thought, right, I just need to. Get his debut out and reset, and then crack on. And now I can't hear. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy, mate. I'm happy. Which gym are you training out of now, down uh, in London? I'm down at South London at Bromley, uh, Ibrox Gym with Al Smith and Eddie Lamb. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, you train, I'm up there. You trained with yeah, those sorry. guys before? Yeah, look, I, well, I, I, he had he was in mind for uh, for when I wanted to go there at like you know, Novemberish time last year. And um, I've been, I've sparred many rounds with Lerone Richards when I was when I was going to box the Commonwealth champion in the amateurs. And what, so I always had a, fit, a feel in. Oh, and I sparred Daryl Williams as well, actually. And there was a Daryl Williams. Yeah, but well, yeah, I've been down there a yeah. few times as sparred. And yeah, he's just listen. He's just he's just a lovely man, lovely man, great team down there. It's like it's like a little family, if I'm honest. It's like a family, our box family. It really is, and like they're, they're they're my own people. Do you know what I mean? We just all click, and we're all the same. Chaps, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy, mate. I really am. 
Oh, brilliant. And and when when's uh, fight two on on the horizon? Have you guys got yeah. a plan June? So you've already got the date and everything as well. Yeah. Well, well, they said for June. I ain't got the exact date. I think it's June the twenty fifth. But I don't. I want to make sure things confirmed, right? And I'm looking to go down to Super Worldweight. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought. I think I can make it, mate. Like, I've, well, I want to see how see how I feel. Like, I feel like at middleweight, I feel like. Uh, I, I do very well middleweight. Like I really do. Like, I really believe that. Like a few of the lads who I've beat before, they're ranked in the top ten in middleweight and whatnot. But I thought, where would this new nutritionist and this strength coach full time? Mm. The weight's dropping off me, mate. Like I'm, I'm weighing lighter now than I was a week before my fight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, so, I'll be a big light middle, well, big, big super well weight. So, it makes sense in the business point of view as well. I've got that. Open names in there. that. Loads yeah. of names in that. Loads of names in that British. Oh, and you probably know him as well. Just, yeah, you, you've, yeah, you've probably seen him around as well. You've got Hamza, Shiraz, Ted Cheeseman, yeah. uh, just a name but two. No doubt you saw what happened with uh, JJ Metcalf as well. So loads of names in that division. And for you, exactly, to mate, it's, domestically, it's, it's popping, mate. And don't get me wrong, they will be looking to go up now anyway. But we'll be clubbing and we'll be, we'll be uh, chipping away and. Um, Closing in on them, like, a lot of them lads are my friends anyway, to be honest. But it's never personal; it's just business, isn't it, mate? You know what I mean, yeah. What What did you think of um, Cheeseman's performance against Metcalf? Did, did you expect that to happen, or? Yeah, no. Like I thought, listen, Ted always brings the smoke. Do you know what I mean? But he he did show a bit more maturity. Um, the maturity. You know what I mean? He wasn't always coming forward. Sometimes he'd like take a little break here and there. You know, take a round off, get back to behind his jab and whatnot. But it's an exciting fight, do you know what I mean? Really exciting. Like, how tough is that JJ? Like, cool, mate. Like, a tough man. And, uh, yeah, like, I thought, yeah, no, nah, I, I, I had Ted, I had Ted winning before the fight. Um, JJ did ask, you know, ask some questions of him. Yeah, like, yeah, it was, uh, it was what I expected, mate. I, I knew Ted, Ted's been through a lot of stuff, do you know what I mean? So, mm. He's, he's built a lot of resilience over the years and, and I think it's just kind of, it was his time, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a good performance and again, you've been part of that division now. Uh, yet another entry, um, who knows where your career will go and also at the same time as well, you could go back up to, to middleweight, you're in between that's that what I'm saying. Weight, so That's what I'm saying, mate. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm all over that, mate. I am all over, like, mate, two, there's, I've got two opportunities there. Do you know what I mean? Champion in Super Bowl, champion in middleweight. I'm, I'm happy with that, mate. I'll take that. Do you know what I mean? If someone pulls out with a fight or a title in middleweight, it's straight in there. Yeah, it's, so. it's going to be good, mate. And another fight that's coming up, last time we spoke about it as well, when, when, when I spoke to you last, was uh, Denzel Bentley versus Felix Cash. Now, that wasn't announced back when we spoke. Now that, now yes. that it's edging closer, are you edging towards one person more than the other or do you think it's going to be a 50-50 clash? Do you know what? Like my head changes now and then. You know, every couple of, every couple of days because I think Felix will be him, but then but then the odd days, Denzel just finds a way to win. And if he lands, I'm actually sparring Denzel next week. Oh, cool! You go so back to the. So uh, better be careful. I, better be careful. I say <laughs> no, no. Now, nah, but yeah, now nah, as 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 a realist, um, I want Felix to win just from you know who he's been in with and his pedigree and whatnot. But I think, but then, but then some days I think Denzel, like he, he just, he finds the ways to win. Do you know what I mean? Like he's, he's, I heard he's a lovely kid as well. Do you know what I mean? So like, I don't, it is a 50, 50 fight, mate. And it's a clash of style. Like it's a good style. Is there, do you know what I mean? So we will see, it's, it's, we'll see who turns up. It's like tomorrow. It's like tomorrow. All right. With, um, Shannon Courtney and that Ebony bird. Um, stolen like, the show, hasn't it? That fight, that fight has stolen the show, hasn't it? Oh, mate, yeah, you well, know, you can see why. But, um, like, I think the occasion, well, I think Shannon, Shannon's got a bit more pedigree and fundamentals are better. But I'm looking at just the way Ebony's carrying herself, she looks like woman, womanly, like, do you know what I mean? Like, she looks like. I don't know, mate. I don't know. It just looks like it's her time. But then, obviously, I'm, I'm, rooting, for, I'm rooting for Shannon all day long. She's one of our own, mm. mate. Do you know what I mean? I would love mm. Shannon to do it. But sometimes it comes to the day and sometimes it's... I don't know. I don't know. I just... 
I don't really know, mate. Um, yeah, I mean, that fight right there um, has captivated audiences from a boxing standpoint as well because these two, it's clear that there's a bit of needle there, isn't there? Where oh, yeah, yeah. they don't like each other, and and I think it's going to be a good fight for that purpose. Where you know one of them's going to win, and it's going to be. It looks like it could just be a brutal stoppage, but we don't know who who the you know. Who, I, who's I, I think that fight will will answer a lot of questions on both behalves because I think it's going to be a good work rate both. But I think when it comes to later rounds, so who's done the conditioning, who's done this, and who's done that, and. The seven, eight, nine, mate, like someone might get stopped it's just not by you know a hard stoppage, but just by being fatigued and just so tired. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, it's a good fight, mate. So I just, I don't know, I don't know. It's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, that that's an excellent one. And Who have you got on that? I never call them, mate, because of the the position that we're in anyway. Um, but this one again. It, it is a tough one. It just shows. It just depends on. Have you, have you done, like, I, I like. I just. I just seen a bit of that Ebony. She. She seems like she's like. She just looks like she's got like. She's like womanly. Do you know what I mean? She's like. Well, like. Do you know like some people haven't got man strength and they get man strength. She looks like she's got like man strength now. Do you know what I mean? Like. A physicality, but. Four weeks ago, she thought. I think was it four or five weeks ago. She recently thought. So she's been in act. She's been in action. Um, yeah, she's fit. Per, yeah, perfect record. Six, six, and six nil. The only defeat on Shan Courtney's record is to, to Rachel Ball, which she wants to revenge. Yeah. yeah, so it's an interesting one, isn't it? It really is a who turns. I think this is better than Rachel Ball. Do you think? I think, I think? I know it's different styles than that, but I thought, yeah, like, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's makes good, I think it's a good one with all of them in the mix together. Yeah. You know? It's, yeah. It's, it's fair, a good fair play for the women boxing, mate, because they're. they're uh, Taking over, aren't they, mate? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, you trained with uh, Katie Taylor's dad, didn't you? So, you know, the, he couldn't be. I bet he was over the moon uh, with, with that uh, performance and, and everything like that. Yeah, to be mate, part that, of that, yeah. to be part of that sort of stable. Um, and Katie Taylor is not just from a woman, women's boxing perspective, but just from a boxing perspective. Mm. It's amazing, isn't it? It's really yeah. good. It's class, mate. She, she, she's like. She's a she's a real wife on me. Do you know what I mean? Even as a personality, like, like he, she is, she's like a dad, mate. Do you know? What? Like you can see it. You can see it. Like it's just in them. The fighting is in them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. There's no like, I don't know. Like he even says like he just she, she won't switch off. Do you know what I mean? She takes a couple of days off. She's back in the gym, mate. She's so competitive. Very competitive. Really professional, isn't it? It's class, mate. Proper professional, and I've I've seen as well on the news that you've got. An, is it another documentary you've got coming out, or or an addition to your your film? Or... Mate, I'll be I'll be honest, mate. I've been getting some mad stuff now, mate. I've been asked to, I've been asked to go on films and that. It's mad. It's all mad. I'm thinking, man, I've ended up on fire. No, I'm trying to this boxing. Man. I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> what? Lose to Hollywood. What? What kind of uh, offers have you been have you been getting? Just to jump in a future, few feature films for some boxing films, bare knuckle films, and uh, some some. I can't, I can't joke. I can't actually say too much, really. But it's some good names, some big names in it. It's a bit, it's a bit madder. So I'm just hoping that they're having a meeting today, and the other ones having a meeting next week. So we'll see. What, obviously, boxing is first and that, but we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens, mate. And then obviously, I've got a documentary coming out. Um, I mean, there's a few things coming out, really. Um, this this one here was just like. Capturing, capturing kind of a lot of stuff really. From he's been filming for over a year or so, but he kind of you see everything, mate. Like he was even in Ireland, come over to Ireland with me, and you see all like, like all, I had some bad news over there, and he just he, he just captured everything, mate. And then obviously away to, to my debut, so it's just it, it's more of just a documentary just for the kids on the stage, really, mate. Just to. To show that it's you know possible and it's possible to make to get out of uh, the system, you know what I mean? Or like, you know, if you just you know you don't need talent, mate. Just stick out something called work hard, and you get where you want to get to. When's it coming out and on what platform? Is it going to be on Netflix or anything? Or um, be- nah, no, well, it's nothing on them, mate. Like, um, I, can't, I can't even say too much, mate. With, with the other stuff. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, but like, it's it's going to be 
But I mean, so, so my, my, it's actually been mad, mate. Even with like, I think one of them, one, one of the platforms might be Vice. Is it Vice? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Vi- that... Vice documentaries. I think is that that's on Sky, right? Yeah, like, they've got a channel, man. So like, yeah, yeah I've so heard of it. Yeah, yeah, I've heard yeah, of it. Vice, yeah. they do like these. They do like mad documentaries on some weird stuff. You know what I mean, like it's just so. Uh, but that's 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 one of them. That won't be out till. Till they want, they want everything perfect, mate. It's, it's fucking mental. It's, it's, it's mental because they want to catch them all the dancing. If like, this this other one was coming out, I'm hoping it's going to come out in the next couple of weeks. That's just of uh, a fella from I think he's from oh, I don't want to say the wrong the wrong country. Um, he's not Slovakian. Oh mate, where's he from? But he's he's big. He's big. He's big over. He's big over in in um, the Eastern European countries. So he's he's come over and been doing other filming. So he's gonna um that's gonna be out as well. So I'm just keeping busy. Man. I'm trying to get used to it all, mate, because I see I see all these Canelos and all that, mate. They're like they're workhorses, mate. They've they're, they're the whole package. I thought I better get myself out there. Yeah, I was gonna say like sometimes in boxing that stuff comes later, doesn't it? You've got it right at the, at the beginning of your career. How do you juggle it all then? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, mate. I don't know, mate. I just think like. I just look at it as in like it's my career, mate. At the end of the day, isn't it like so you gotta make time for it. Like right now, if I want, it's, it's easy to go you know, have my dinner and chill out. But it's work, isn't it? This is work. This is this is this is a business. This is my brand. I'm, I'm representing myself, putting myself out there. So you, you gotta make time for it, mate. You're we're working twenty four hours, mate. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how it is. Works fast enough. Yeah, and. And after June, then in an ideal world, so you've had March, you go out again in June. Mm. Is there a plan that you're gonna, like, I don't know, six fights in the year five? Have you got? Have you yeah. got like a number or anything or that you're looking at? Yeah, I think my contract was that like, so, so before the pandemic and that it was supposed to be six fights a year, round about six fights a year. So, but I could even squeeze, mate. Where, where, where June, July, or maybe one in September, November. Oh, mate. I'll be happy with mate. I could even get four, three, four. Do you know what I mean? Like even if it's a show in December. So yeah, June, September. Yeah, I'll be happy with that. I'll get out. I, I know I'll definitely get out at least once or twice mm. more. Do you know what I mean? At least twice more, I reckon. Um if there's any if there's any pullouts last minute, then I'll take I'll take something. But yeah, but we'll see, we we'll see. I want to see how I feel about super well weight as well. Yeah, because it's because um, it's like what you said, isn't it? This is your, it's like your pro debut again, isn't it? At uh, Super World at this time, isn't it? Yeah, wicked, mate. It's like it's like a new recent. I mean, I'm getting abs, man. I've had abs before. Like, I'm getting abs and stuff. I'm thinking, cool, man. Like summer's coming as well, man. I know I don't really know how to take my top off. I'm gonna be taking my top off now. <laughs> so, I mean, always be checking. Do you know what it is? Like it's because of the amateur days, man. Like. You know, it used to be 69 kilos was well away. 75 used to be middle. And I could never make 69 kilograms because you used to fight every day, weighing every day. Couldn't do it mm. every day. Right. I'm, I could, just couldn't do it every day. So 75, and I just stuck with that. So I've done that for five, six years. And then I've kind of stayed that. And it kind of, it kind of makes it into a habit. But then I thought to myself, the program is different now. Like, let's, let's get down and stay before weighing. Do it properly. I mean, four times a day. I'm drinking mm. four or five liters a day. I'm eating more now, I'm drinking more now. I'm losing more weight. It's mental, mate. <laughs> so, mate I got shout, shout out, Rick. Shout out to Rick at PWR for that, mate, because he's a genius, mate. It's some great, it's a great team down there. Adam Hart, shout out PWR. It's um, mate, it's a champ. It's a championship, mate, because everyone's there as a savage. Great on everyone's on the same mindset. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, he's um, I'm I'm, I'm weighing lighter now. Hmm. Than I was a week before my fight, so this this shows that his magic's working. Spot on, mate. And just before we uh, just before we call it a, a day, I want to get your opinion on Andrade versus Williams because that's happening next week as well. Are you going to be watching that one? That's going to be a yeah, well, mate, mate. I'm I'm loving it, mate. Listen, I'm actually like the missus going, fuck, you know, like <laughs> you know, like I'm I'm like I'm I'm just. Mate, it's, it's, the last few weeks boxing has been popping off, hasn't it? It's been like uh, I've been loving it, mate. Um, um but I, um, I, I, I actually don't know, mate. I, I, I don't even know. Like, I've only seen Andre, Andre, is that Andre? Andrade, yeah, Andrade. Andrade, yeah. I've only seen him once against Luke Keeler. He looked massive. 
Is he super well in that? Is he going to super middle? Uh, no, this is that middleweight. He's massive for middle, isn't he? He's massive for middleweight. Yeah, so, he's a big guy. Very big guy. I'm backing Liam, man. I, I, it's hard, man. It's, it's too complete. So Liam, Liam will, will wear him down. Mm, could could get to him later rounds, you know what I mean? But then he's he's a great boxer. This kid's man. He's big for the weight. I, I I I ain't got an opinion on that, man. I, I, I'm sitting on the fact I don't really know, man. But obviously I'm backing Liam, mate. Do you know what I mean? He's one of our own, but that's another 50 55, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and and to be fair as well, Liam Williams has improved a lot, hasn't he? He's like, massive, massive. yeah, he's been knocking people over. Um, yeah, I've spotted, I've spotted a few rounds of Liam. I've done a few rounds. He's 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 uh he's just relentless, mate. He's a workhorse, mate. Uh, what, leave me alone. When, when did you um when did you spar with him? Was this when um two years ago before Liam Smith fight or a year and a half ago? It was for who was fighting for Toe or something. It was about yeah, about a year and a half ago. It was on it was on Dean GB. It was twenty one twenty end of two nineteen. Oh, okay, so it's fairly recentish then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, GB. He come. He come with. Uh, he come with. I don't, I don't think Dominic Ingle was there. He might have been there. But yeah, Liam's Liam Williams and someone else was sparring. But yeah, I don't know. Good few rounds of him. Um, yeah, he's fit. He's just he's just like you need a baseball bat to stop him, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, he's a, he's a strong guy. Um, Jordan, look, thank you again from the Boxing Voice, mate. Um, any shout Sorry, it's been a while. Sorry, it's, it's, it's been a while, mate. It's, 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 it's all right, mate. You've been, you've been training and stuff anyway, and, and uh, hopefully when, when things are well, we'll come over to see you at the gym as well, mate. Yeah, come to the gym, mate. It takes for a coffee or something, do you know what I mean? Yeah, spot on, mate. Have you got, have you got any shout-outs or anything, mate? Just shout-out to everyone to support me, mate. Like, oh, mate, I could shout all my sponsors out. But it's just I don't want to forget any, do you know what I mean? But uh, uh, just big love to everyone um supporting me, supporting the movement, do you know what I mean? It's only bigger and better things. Hopefully we can all uh get down to my debut and uh I think what everyone's looking for a good night out. So let's put the show on for the people and then we can celebrate after. So roll on June, eh? Spot on. Cheers, Jordan. We'll catch up soon, Cheers. mate. Take it easy, bro. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars and title betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, or promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.